The GOP continues to be outraged over the scandal in Benghazi. No one is entirely sure exactly what they're outraged about, but they're very angry. And one of the things that they were most angry about earlier in the week was that it seemed like the White House and the State Department had been incredibly political in the way they were considering the talking points over Benghazi and some of the, the earlier leaked emails. Yeah. And so it seemed like, look, they're obviously covering something up because of the way they're talking about it. Now, in a delicious case of political irony, turns out that the White House and the State Department were not the only ones playing with language. Uh, some of the leaked emails that the GOP distributed late last week about Benghazi, uh, turns out those were edited as well. We've got a CBS report discussing this. Let's go to that. One email was written by Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes. On Friday, Republicans leaked what they said was a quote from Rhodes. We must make sure that the talking points reflect all agency equities, including those of the State Department, and we don't want to undermine the FBI investigation. But it turns out in the actual email, Rhodes did not mention the State Department. It read, we need to resolve this in a way that respects all of the relevant equities, particularly the investigation. Republicans also provided what they said was a quote from an email written by State Department spokesman Victoria Newland. The Republican version quotes Newland discussing, the penultimate point is a paragraph talking about all the previous warnings provided by the agency about Al-Qaeda's presence and activities of Al-Qaeda. The actual email from Newland says, the penultimate point could be abused by members to beat the State Department for not paying attention to agency warnings. So what do you guys think? Is it just a case of autocorrect gone wrong or something like that? <laughs> well, yeah, that would be an amazing coincidence. Uh, no, I think that, you know, listen, what this, what this goes to and, and, and what CBS has said about this is in fact that the White House, that there is still no fingerprint that the White House had anything to do with the changes in these emails or with the emails at all. Uh, and so, uh, again, it, it, it goes to what I've said over and over, like a, a drumbeat, but you, if John Kerry or anybody else were Secretary of State at the time this happened, we wouldn't be talking about Benghazi right now. They see a Secretary of State, a former Secretary of State right now, who is the front runner for the presidency in 2016, they want to stop her. This mm -hmm. is about Hillary Clinton, top to bottom, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I think there are a couple points. One is I do see things to criticize in the way the State Department handled this, but they have nothing to do with what the Republicans are saying. Yeah. Uh, that's number one. I mean, this is And even the president, phony. RJ, the president said that in the Rose Garden. You know, right. he said, he said there, we need changes in the way we talk about security. They put on their scheduled new 96 uh, security envoys to go to embassies and, and hotbeds around the world. So, so that's exactly right, what you're well, saying. There are problems that need to be addressed. This highlighted them, Benghazi highlighted them, but what the Republicans are crowing about had nothing to do with that. Right, no, I do think that, this, that, that the way they tried to spin the Benghazi incident was inappropriate, to be honest with you. But on the other hand, the real scandal here is these doctored emails that were given mm -hmm. to the broadcasters, Major Garrett and the others. To me, it, 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 you guys will recall that Dan Rather lost his job mm -hmm. for reporting on a phony story because conservatives insisted on That's it. That's a great point. Yeah. Here, no, but who's losing their job here, yeah. number one? And number two is, who, who is it that wrote these emails to begin with? a Dick Cheney appointee to the State Department, <laughs> yeah. Victoria Newland. So maybe they should do what they did in Iraq with the bath, bath party. Right, well that first Just point. fire every Republican <laughs> well, the, in the State Department if, they, if you want to the take The first point you made is, is really true. I mean, again, it, it goes to the hypocrisy, and I always love the hypocrisy, but I mean, this is, that's exactly how people lost their job last time. But also, you know, you'd say that they came up with, there was great reporting here. It's always fun to point out great reporting. CBS mm -hmm. News did a great job yeah. getting this story. Major Garrett, Scott Pelley, all, whoever was behind getting the story. They did a really good job uh, of, of reporting that. Uh, one other thing to what you just said, uh, RJ, is, you, you know, the, the way they spun it. We live in this 24-hour news cycle now. I mean, we've lived in it for a while, so it's silly to bring it up. At the time when there were CBS, NBC, and ABC, it wouldn't have been reported like that. You know, there's a demand, and so we, we feel this need to respond with information that we don't have. So mm -hmm. going out there, that, that's also something that needs to change. Susan Rice should go out and say, you know, we don't know enough to tell you. Yeah, we, there's we no don't time know. to conduct yeah, an investigation. Yeah, exactly. The answer is now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and like we saw with Boston. I mean, th that's a small thing. I think we talked about this last week, John. The, uh, Boston comes up. You have reporting on it. 
initially, which who knows what it was. It was Taliban, it was uh, Al Qaeda, it Saudi was guy, uh, Saudi yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. That they saw. If you went out there and you reported on that, well, you know that you would have been in a lot of trouble. Yeah, but, I think but this that is, stuff di- is it, th- we do disagree no, though no. because because I, I do think there's a lot of evidence that they knew for about a week that they weren't really telling the truth on this. I, I just I, 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 I don't I, I don't I certainly don't think it was about a week, by the way. But 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 yeah, th- listen, they went out there with information they shouldn't. It was irresponsible, but it wasn't disastrous, you know, and it wasn't certainly right. nobody to, died because of it. No, and I people think that's died an for other point. reasons. Yeah, people people could die because the Republicans Republicans are cutting the budget for diplomatic security. Exactly. That's the insanity in all this. While they're professing outrage because people died, yeah. and that's the reason they're giving, they're cutting the budget in a way that could cause more people to die. Yeah. And yeah. I think we should push that, too. Yeah. My final point, what I like about this is that we, we often notice that it's unfortunate that Republicans and, and Democrats, they view the issue so differently at times. Um, but at least we can agree on this. Like Democrats have been saying for a week now, there's really no scandal here. It's not as sexy as you're making it out to be. Apparently, last week, the GOP felt exactly the same way because they <laughs> felt the need to sex it up a bit. Yeah. And, and they also have started saying, be careful. Be careful when you go after these scandals because they yeah, could, come out, to bite. Yeah, they could, could come out to bite mm-hmm. you. And that's, uh, that's a departure.